What is up, internet friends? It's Friday. Uh, it's about 10.30, and uh, I just got on the road, headed down to Thompson Speedway. It's Lock City Drifts. Round one of their Street Series comp this season, so pretty psyched to check that out. Uh, it's pretty much just like a grassroots uh, competition, so like no pro drivers, no pro cars. If you're competing in like a point series this season, you're not you know, eligible to drive. But um, yeah, so should be a pretty decent time. Also, a little bit of blasphemy on my part, but uh, not gonna be stopping at Duncan on my drive down because I got my coffee this morning. But, you know, life happens. I do, however, have a La Colombe um, oat milk double espresso or double latte for the drive. But it is what it is, you know. So I'm gonna go stop and get ice for my cooler, pick up some sugar-free Red Bulls, and um, start the drive down to Thompson Speedway. Let's go, baby. Happy freaking Sunday, YouTube. So I don't have too much to talk about, I think, on this one. So hopefully it'll be really short, fingers crossed. I uh, went down to Lock City a couple days ago, uh, shot the first round of their Street Series competition. It's the first comp I've shot at Lock City. Saw a bunch of friends, shot a bunch of photos, shot a bunch of video. Uh, Taylor won uh, in the Cressida, which is, I think, probably my favorite car at Lock City for sure. Uh, I think it has a ton of personality and it's just really cool. But yeah, he killed it. I mean, that was really it. You saw the video. Um, there's not like a ton to talk about. Uh, it's pretty, 
pretty cut and dry, pretty good time. Uh, during the day, like during the event, I was like in a super rut. Uh, like wasn't feeling what I was shooting to the point where I got home and posted like a cute drawing of a dog shitting. And I was like, oh, an accurate representation of my day shooting wise uh, to my Instagram story. But after, you know, up dumping everything onto my laptop and calling through and editing um, and like scrubbing through the footage, it actually wasn't too bad. Like I'm fairly stoked on the stuff I got. So that was cool. I think I just needed to like take a breather and, and step back and whatever. It was my first time shooting like night drifting at Thompson as well, which was cool. Um, got some neat stuff uh, on photo and video. Uh, so that was that. Um, in terms of like events coming up, I think there's nothing coming up this week that we're in, uh, at least around here. Uh, I think the next drift event in New England is round two of Lock City Street Series, which is June 2nd. So that's in like a week and a half. So I'll be down there for that for sure. I think that round is on the skid pad, which will be really interesting to see. Um, Friday, while I was at Lock City, I got my media approval email for Vibes out in Lake Erie, Pennsylvania, at Lake Erie Speedway, uh, which I am really really excited about i got approved last year um but had to not go pretty last minute um i think the media approval emails came through it was like a week prior to the event and i had had my old nine to five still then um, and i had planned on going but because there was such a delay in hearing back um i just couldn't really make it work and i also had like a movie starting like a couple days after vibes ended so it just unfortunately didn't work out um but now that i'm doing the freelance thing full time i have all the time in the world to you know be able to make these trips because of my own boss for the most part so uh that's pretty sick i can't wait to go out there so that's june 9th 10th and 11th it's a three day it's a big like if you don't know what vibes is, it's wild. Definitely like look it up. I suggest watching um, Spirals, Spiral Drifts edit uh, that Devin put together from last summer. Um, it's just, it seems insane. Like I've not heard a single negative thing about that event. Um, it's like an invitational team event. Uh, I know there's a few teams from home going and a lot of teams that like I've been following for a bit that will be there um, from around the country. So That'll be really, really cool. I'm really excited to go. Drift-wise, that's really it. So I'm doing some, like, thinking and brainstorming in terms of, like, not the direction I want to go with the vlogs because I think that's kind of settled and figured out. But just, like, with some of the things I'm doing, I want to kind of look at other possibilities. Like, I am happy with my format in terms of like how everything's laid out, but I'm starting to not like get burnt out or dislike it, but like the, you know, every vlog, it starts with me being all YouTube -y and uh, talking about what I'm doing in that specific vlog or that day. And that's fine. Cause I think that's kind of pertinent to what each vlog is. It, it's that kind of, cliff notes you know me talking about how stoked i am to go to an event or where i'm going or the weather or the time or the date so i mean that stuff's fine that's gonna stay there um but to me the like driving cut of me traveling to an event is starting to get like a little stale and i know this is only vlog number six but it's just like i feel like i could be doing other things to fill that space in the each vlog not that i'm not gonna like show the traveling because i think that's kind of neat in some senses but like i'm gonna be shooting gig a lot this summer i'm gonna be shooting lock city a lot this summer so it's like do you really need the same clips pretty much of me driving to rhode island or connecticut um every few weeks uh so yeah so i'm looking you know trying to think of other neat ways to show that travel or you know the journey um literally not like a metaphorical journey to you know wherever i'm going without it just being like straightforward driving shot looking at my mirror shots you know 90 degree to the side shot whatever so hopefully i'll have some neat 
or different things to do uh, to cut together for you know those sections, and then um, also trying to figure out like a better car rig for like the interior talking driving stuff. And I know it's a very short thing and it's not anything too like artistic, but I'm just not thrilled with like how it's looking. Um, right now I'm just using, it's like an off brand, um, like Joby gorilla pod sort of thing. Like it's small, I'd show you, but my camera's sitting on it right now, uh, but it has like the bendy arms. And it works, like it doesn't not work, but I don't like how like uncomfortably low the angle is. Um, it just feels like weird. Like I don't, it's strange like to, as like a viewer, I think, to be like looking up at a person. Like, and there's, but it's not like for a reason weird it's like oh hey you're sitting on the floor of my car i don't it's strange but i'm just not a fan of how that looks so i'm trying to like figure out like an easy to set up and break down um way to get like either a little bit further like up and like straight on eye level of an angle or maybe like a profile thing um i was like reading some dudes like a reddit post that does a lot of like in-car stuff and he has like an entire tripod rigged up to his passenger seat with like ratchet straps and shit and it's doable and like i have the stuff to do that but it's also overkill i mean maybe i'll try it but i think it's kind of unnecessary at least for what i'm doing to go like that all in on something um and occupy like that entire portion of my car um just for what ends up being like a 30 second you know two minute and a half clip uh, of every vlog but i'm trying to kind of figure that out um hopefully so i have like a better attack plan for like the drive to vibes because it's going to be like an eight hour drive uh I also uh huge apologies for if you're even this far into this vlog uh the audio levels being all over the place on last week's vlog uh from the lz world tour that was a big amateur hour move on my part. Um, I thought I had gone through and matched everything. Uh, so my audio was like fairly consistent, but I either didn't save it or I, I don't, I honestly, I don't have a reason I can speculate all I want, but um, a couple people messaged me about it. Uh, I noticed it, but it was after it had already gone live and had a handful of views. So I didn't want to like pull the vlog down and adjust it. Uh, but it's definitely you no know, learning experience for me. Super, super frustrating just because I was like, for the most part, very, very stoked on that, you know, specific one. I think that was like my favorite one I've done so far. Um, and usually I'll, you know, if I don't sit through and watch through the entire thing after I've exported it um, or... Like I'll watch through it once I upload it before I have it go live on YouTube, just to make sure there's no like weird like errors in the file. I think when I saw that that specific vlog came in at like 31 minutes, I just was kind of over it at that point. I didn't want to like sit and then watch my vlog for half an hour. Um, I didn't even scrub through it, which I probably would have noticed the, how bad the audio was. If I had, so lesson learned, you know, definitely have to double and triple check my work, but yeah, I really think that's it. I have another hard drive on order, another five terabyte drive, because uh, my current drive, I have like a couple hundred gigs left, so that's not going to last me through the season um, on top of doing everything else I'm doing, so That'll be cool. I'll do an entire vlog about a five terabyte hard drive. I won't, because that would be stupid. So thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting and sharing. Um, if you're not subscribed, that'd be really cool. If you um, did that, tell me, you know, boost, boost my reach <laughs> and put a bigger number next to my name. I am going to cut this into the vlog, which I already have everything else put together. And hopefully I'll have this live on the YouTube tonight. Uh, no time-lapse edit on this for stills, <clears throat> only because I already finished through the photos and delivered them. I didn't think to um, do that. 
is what it is. Maybe I'll do it again at some point. But thank you for watching and enjoy your Sunday, friends. See you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.